Confession. I stole from an online friend when she pretended to die. This is going to be a really weird post. From the ages of like 11 to 15 I was obsessed with a game called Habo and there was a game on Facebook called Mini Planet which pretty much had the same vibe. For people who don't know what Habo is it's a virtual reality world and you make rooms play games etc. I used to make pretty close friends on these games. I met a girl called Millie who was from my county, and ended up meeting her in real life. It was really cool. Well I became close with this girl called Rosie on this game. We would Skype all the time text, spend hours and hours on this game together. Well one morning I woke up to a text from her mum claiming that Rosie had killed herself in the night. Me being 13 I believed it, you're gullible at that age. I tried calling her on everything gained no response. I didn't hear from her for about two weeks. However she was online Skyped constantly so of course I was starting to come to my senses and kept calling and calling her. Well she accidentally answered and guess who's sitting there all shocked and pouty. It's Rosie. The look on her face was priceless. She immediately hung up the call and I immediately knew what to do. I was angry I guess? Anyways she gave me her Facebook details so I logged onto this mini planet game and spent about 250 pounds on the credit card that she had linked up to the account. Never heard a word. Became one of the richest on the game. Job done. I have more stories about people pretending to die on me but I'll leave that for another post. Have any of your friends pretended to die? Edit, I was 13 when this happened. I am 20 now. I know what I did was wrong and wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I do not condone stealing in any way and I have never stolen anything in my life apart from this. I was 13, stupid and immature. But to be honest she deserved it, smiley face. First of all, this sucks. I don't get why someone would pretend to die, it's one of the stupidest things ever. I still don't think it's okay to spend so much of her money. So second of all, a guy died on me, too. We met online and talked for a long time, also Skyped and it got a little spicy. Nothing bad, just some more cleavage than usually. Apparently, he took screenshots of our video conversations. When he died his friend talked to me on Skype and tried to blackmail me into sending him nudes. I was 14 at the time and started to freak out, really didn't know what to do. Back then it seemed like the end of the world to me, now I just think the guy was an idiot and such an asshole for trying to take advantage of me like that. You didn't steal from your friend, you stole from her parents. No way she was paying that credit card. I have more stories of people pretending to die on me man I can't stop laughing at this. I would love to hear your other stories, embarrassed smiley face. Pools closed, people are giving lectures, and I'm sitting here thinking how you slash your player became rich if you spent the money on her account. Wow. First of all, that was shitty of them to act like they died. Second of all, that was screwed up of you to steal from them. I don't understand why someone would pretend to die. I had a friend, we were best friends, we spent our summers playing Minecraft and talking on TeamSpeak, she lived in a different state. Honestly, I had a major crush on her. I wasn't out though, and I didn't want to ruin our friendship so I stayed quiet. She was being bullied at school and going through some stuff, she was suicidal, and I had gone through that before as well so I could relate. We talked her down the first time. The second time she killed herself. I was devastated. I don't think I cried like that before in my life, I hardly could drag myself out of bed the next morning. Years pass. I graduate high school. It's about 4 to 5 years later now. I'm almost over her death, I'm moving on with my life, her death has changed me. And guess what? I get a random message on Skype, just happen to glance at Skype, not like I really use it anymore. I look at it, and take a leap and respond. Lo and behold who is it? My dead best friend. The girl I fell in love with over the summers who killed herself. Confirmed over voice chat. She told me that she had a mental breakdown and faked her death, though she did attempt suicide apparently. She's better now, but honestly. I don't talk to her. How the fuck can you do that to someone and then stay silent for years, and pop tall like ha ha hey. To this day she doesn't know what she did to me, and my reddit account is the same as my name on discord, she knows my discord so I hope to god you find this post. But hey, that's my story of how my bestie killed herself. Enjoy. People suck. I had someone die on me too. I was a part of a mental health support group on Google+, was in my teens, and there were members from all over the world on here, 
and we were a pretty tight bunch. So, one day one of the girls who had depression and had been staying in a psychiatric hospital had reportedly committed suicide the night before. Her nurse told us about it in the group and we were all devastated. I actually cried and warned her, someone I had never met and would have never met in real life, I was hurt was gone. And it surprised me that I was actually boohooing, which to me meant that we actually had a connection. A couple of days later it turned out that she was alive and that her nurse was actually her this whole time, lying to us. Everyone was pissed, and soon after that more issues in the group started and we disbanded. I'll never forget the group. But that was some messed up stuff. And we didn't give her a pass because she was mentally ill either, people expressed their hurt to her. Whether or not she actually cared is another story, multiple stories about people who pretend to die on you? Something ain't right with this, this is the most have a story I've heard in a while. I too spent way too much time in that toxic cesspool, more stories PLS, have an upvote. I once had a really sweet but gullible boyfriend who one day told me he was sad today because his online friend told him she'd overdosed the night before but was alright now because they rushed her to hospital and gave her a liver transplant. I had to have a sit down with him and tell him hey maybe don't believe everything she says anymore cause that's some bullshit. We were 19. So did you ever talk to her again, not my story, but a friend's. We both played Gao, Game of War, at some time. She was very close to a player in another part of the world, close, but just friends. He was married, but would often be away from where he lived because of his work. One day, he messaged her that he was not okay and if she would message his wife. He added her mail address, but the server blocked the last part of it. My friend was worried and asked him questions but he didn't respond anymore. She asked others about what mail client was used in that part of the world and sent out several mails until someone answered that they were in fact married to that guy. My friend relayed his message and eventually learned that the guy had killed himself. Such a weird story. We both always wondered why he would send that message to his wife through her, someone he never met and who lives on the other side of the world. Greater than I have more stories about people pretending to die on me. That really says a lot about you, online gaming back then was so toxic. Lying, stealing, pretending to die, self-harming was cool etc it makes me cringe so hard looking back on it. And people think someone saying her mom gay is toxic these days. They don't even know, no one pretended to die on me. I enjoyed it except I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy what's the point of the worst enemy if terrible shit won't happen to them. Used to play hobo as well frown. I once made some internet friends while playing Minecraft. There was one girl called Isabel and one time we were playing and my classmate asked to join us. Then my classmate started joking that I like Isabel and such. He wouldn't stop joking around so I stopped talking to her and now I regret it lol. Dude I met some friends I made on Habbo when I was 13 this year after all this time. Happier ending than this as they aren't dicks and we are still close ha. Huh? When I was a freshman or sophomore in high school, my best friend, Damien, killed himself. He was an online friend that I never actually saw or heard. Just pictures. Well after his GF told me he died I tried to find an obituary but she said his parents decided not to? Can't find any news reports or anything. People don't know how to unfriend someone and instead of having a conversation they prefer to die. That's really nonsense. The real question is why are multiple people pretending to die so they can get away form up? I feel as if this goes deeper. Pools closed lads, first of all, mini planet was my life, hey neighbor. Second of all, I talked to this guy for years online. We talked on the phone all the time. He randomly disappeared and I ended up making friends with the girl he lived with at the time. I ended up meeting up with her, went to hers all the time, she was one of my best friends. Life moved on. I heard about this guy all the time through her. She texted me on my birthday one year to say that he had died in a car crash. I was devastated. Cried so much, birthday was ruined. Few months later, turns out it was this girl all along. The entire time. So I'd been talking to her before I even knew she existed. She was a headcase. Another girl who was talking to him, when he died she went to get tattoos of his name and handwriting done in his memory and this girl went with her to get the tattoos done knowing it was her handwriting. So I get it but ATL East you know that the stealing was wrong but I get why you got revenge. To grieve somebody that didn't actually die, or in my case even exist, hurt so bad. I still play Habboong, it's completely out of my head why people pretend to die online. 
I had a similar incident where one guy pretended to die but I really really doubt it because he or she was always online on the forums for the game we played and even Discord and Skype. May his soul rest in peace if he or she really did die, but if they faked it it's just straight up weird. This is fascinating little story Lamau. I prob would have done the same thing. Greater than I have more stories about people pretending to die on me but I'll leave that for another post. How is this a regular thing for you? He didn't die per se, but he pretended to get in a car accident. When I was in middle school, I broke it off with this guy I was dating, because he creeped me out, and told me that he had gotten into a car accident while walking to my house to sing a song for me on his guitar. He got mad that I didn't take him back immediately. Um well at least we know it's dumb kid shit now we are older lol. When I was 13, my friend L secretly made up some internet guy that was suddenly one of her closest friends ever BC he knew the same stuff she did. Eventually a mutual friend of ours, D, started chatting a bunch with him. Until one day she's at the school counselors crying all week. When she finally came back, D said the dude's sister hacked his computer and messenger to relay the one suicide note he left, which was addressed directly to D, not even the original friend or any family saying she did everything right but it wasn't enough and so by gotta die. I suspected L all along because we spent after school slash evenings together and I would know if she was on a computer talking to someone all day and night, she wasn't, to make the extreme bond of friendship with this dude in such a short time. She would even scratch his name into her arm? Like as if it were scarification but not. And say they both did that for another as true testament of friend. But OFC. At the end when she thought she was in the clear, I saw his login still saved on her chat one day. Under one of her other email accounts. Didn't ever tell D though, just felt awkwardly cruel to bring up and mess up their friendship when middle school already sucks and we are all moving on different paths after anyway. But wow. And yikes. I had a friend who said that her boyfriend, who she met online, committed suicide. She said his mom called her and told her and that he was in a different country so she couldn't go to the funeral. She seemed to me like she was sad about it but quickly forgot about it. Now I'm wondering whether this person was made up, whether she made up that he was her boyfriend, made up that he died, or whether he just pretended to die and got someone to pretend to be his mom and call her. Oh man I'm guilty, when I was 14 I died on someone just because I felt uncomfortable talking with them. I'm 20 now and I still feel awful about it from time to time. I feel really bad because when we were teenagers my brother decided he was going to prank his friends and fake his death. Why, I have no idea. And the idea made me sick to my stomach because we had a younger brother who had died when we were kids so I know what it's like to find out you lost someone. However, he asked me to be the one to call his friends and tell them he died and I don't know why I agreed to it. But I did. I guess there was nothing else going on at the time and I was still trying to be cool with my brother knowing we were drifting in different directions and all. Anyway, there's really no excuse for it because I did what he asked and he and a different friend just sat there laughing the whole time. Of course everyone ended up finding out he hadn't died but I still despise myself for it. I might have done the same, but dang I feel bad for their parents. So what did Millie have to do with this story? I often wonder why you have to be a certain age to be allowed to do certain things. Now I know, pools closed due to AIDS. Found out one of our high school science teachers faked his own death as an elaborate April Fool's Day prank. Ten years later and still most of his close friends and family still would not speak to him, so yes. This is such a weird thing to relate to others on because I truly thought it was just me. I was 13 or 14 and met this guy named Mike online. Truly I have no recollection how. Probably Omega or maybe some game. Anyway we would use kick and message all the time. We would Skype call each other frequently. He lived very far from me but I was young and dumb and really needed a friend. I remember somehow I quit talking to him. Not for any reason I remember but just in general and then lo and behold a few weeks pass and his friend Katie messages me telling me he died. I cried and cried because that's so sad and I was also young and dumb. He came back to life a few weeks later apparently. Truly looking at this now it makes no fucking sense. How would I believe that? What a stupid unrealistic story. But when you're young and dumb you get attached. Honestly, who wouldn't do this? I remember when Habo peaked for me in 2009, so much crazy shit happened in that website. I was there to witness the pool raids first hand. Feels like I was a part of history. Pools closed. Faking suicide is horrendous. She earned her bad karma, 
and if her parents were stupid enough to leave a credit card open in a game like that, they learned a valuable lesson, too. That is a decent amount of money to steal, though. Maybe it would be a good idea to donate that amount to a non-profit that works with teens. Oh man habo. When I was 10 I got scammed, but I thought it was clever. Then I ended up scamming so many people in that game into giving me expensive items, I feel horrible. But damn we were all gullible, that. Was a perfect response, well played sir. Has anyone here pretended to die on someone? You wouldn't wish this on your word enemy but she deserved it? Make your mind up, bet she loved that Suicide Room movie. LMWA I feel like we could be good friends, smiley face, smiley face. Well her parents didn't deserve losing that money. Habo Hotel? I mean don't blame you, Habba was amazing. Unfortunately I don't know the other game, you're an asshole, but sometimes being an asshole is needed. Well done Nob, you must be the worst pirate I have ever seen. You know you could have played Habo Core or Habo Pixel which automatically give you a lot of money and a subscription right? Maybe lay off on the internet gaming. I feel like I know the milli you're talking about because I also used Habo around that time period. There was this game called Grotopia which is a 2D game with infinite amount of words and a trade system and drop system and the game did the best to stop stop scams and all but when I was also 13 I was obsessed with the game and had a bunch of friends, some closer than others and sometimes they would pretend to die also. And I was 100% sure they were still alive so I stole off their things and when they would be like hey give it back I would be like no or not her. And yeah. Lamau, Boba, I don't believe that you're 20 because 1. Your English sucks too. You're childish. Oh my god, I forgot about Habo. I used to play that and I would get so upset when I'd get rejected from a club. Or someone's awesome room. Never understood how people got so much cool stuff on that game. But I was about 12 at the time too. Sucks about your friend though. People do weird stuff. I have a wow story where a friend pretended to die. There was a pair of Tarn hunters in my guild who were a married couple. They had kids together. I grouped with them a lot. We hung out on the same vent server and chatted. There was a troll mage in the guild who also hung out with us all the time. Eventually the Torrens started having marital problems and we saw less and less of the guy online. She still played as much as ever. And the troll mage started to get close to the her. A few months go by and the troll mage sets up a visit to see the Taran. It's a big deal because he lives in Canada and she lives in the US South. The Taran couple have broken up but are still living together with the kids. While the date comes and goes and he never shows up. His mom somehow gets in contact with the Taran and tells her he died in a car crash. We are all pretty sad about it, because he was a fun guy to hang out with on vent. A few months later he logs back into his character and tells us he just got scared. I actually lost my best friend at 13. She was murdered. That's not cool. Fuck that rosy bitch. Think it's really disrespectful to your own life for pretending to die. You realized it was wrong and I have respect for that. Anybody faking a death is not a good person. Pretty sure a lot of kids who aren't super rich steal at some point. At least you had a reason that at the time, made sense to you, but at least you recognize what you did wrong and improved in it. Good job. Edit. Removed part that made no sense Lamau. Pretending to die? What? I've never heard of that before, raised eyebrow. That's so pretty terrible. I mean, it wasn't the best to spend the money but I guess I do get why you did it. Woman shrugging, hopefully that shocked her out of doing it again. Neutral face. People still play Habo Hotel? Shit like this is why I have no friends. People are shit, greater than more stories about people pretending to die on me. Maybe you aren't exactly the most likable person. The mere fact you think she deserves it makes you an asshole tbh.